What's up, y'all? I'm your host, Lil T, and it's the Christmas season, my second favorite time of year next to Halloween. We just endured Black Friday, and I bought a heated jacket, the only way to endure the blistering winds in full heat. But it brought back memories of a certain Black Friday, that of 2009. I was looking for some peanut butter, but then stumbled into the kids section, and that's when I first made eye contact with it, the thing that would rock my world. I was mesmerized by its beautiful packaging and wanted nothing more than to have a wonderful experience with it. And that thing was, of course, Kraft Peanut Butter. And then behind it I know it's new Super Mario Bros. Wii and decided to pick it up. Ever since that day, I fell in love with this game. Wait, wait, Tyson, you were born in 2006. You would have been three years old. I was a smart kid. Back to what I was saying, I got completely hooked on this game. And I'm about to say something that's going to change everyone's outlook and opinions on me, but I don't care. New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best Mario game of all time. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 hear me out. Let's go back to the year of my birth, 2006. There hadn't been a 2D Mario game since Super Mario Advance 4 in 2003, but that was just a re-release of Super Mario Bros. 3, as was the rest of the Advance series. And in terms of a new 2D Mario, the last one we got was Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins. Then, at 2004, we were introduced to this wonderful man. My name is Reggie, I'm about kicking ass, I'm about taking names, and we're about making games. He then announced this little chunk of plastic we would know as a Nintendo DS. Among numerous games shown at E3, one would go on to be one of the best-selling games of all time, and that game was New Super Mario Bros. Most people like to regard this as the start of the bubonic plague, and while I agree it spawned this hell spawn, it shouldn't be blamed for the creation of the rest of the series. This game was a return to form for the Mario series, which had kept expanding with 3D and spin-offs. In this game, the more things change, the more they stay the same. The foundation for New Super Mario Bros. is, surprise, saving the princess. Bowser Jr. has snatched Peach from right under Mario's nose, and it's up to Mario to save her. Mario will have to bounce from level to level in order to reach every world's castle while collecting coins, trampling Koopas, and jumping down flagpoles. Anyone who's played the original Super Mario Bros. will recognize the inspiration from the first four games. What makes this game so interesting is that it brought elements from the 3D games into the 2D ones, such as ground pounds, wall jumping, and most importantly, 3D models. This game combines 2D tile sets and 3D models. For example, Mario, Peach, Bowser Jr., Dory, Babombs, Bullet Bills, Piranha Plants, Dry Bones, Womps, The Bosses, and many others are 3D models. Whereas Goombas, Koopas, Boos, The Items, The Pipes, The Ground, The Background, and many more are all 2D sprites. This blend of 2.5 visuals would be something this series would follow until this day. This game would also introduce some new items. You had your traditional mushrooms, fire flowers, and stars, but new to this game would be the three new thingies to help Mario. The blue shell, where Mario can slip into a shell while running and kill enemies. Why has this not come back? I love this thing! The mini mushroom, where Mario shrinks to the size of my pinky. With this, you can walk on water, go through tiny pipes, and be six pixels tall. On the other hand, you'll have to ground pound enemies to kill them and die in one hit, so this feels more like a power down. And finally, the selling point of this entire game, the Mega Mushroom. This makes Mario grow to a huge size and basically destroy the entire level. Even though it's basically an automatic win button, my god it was satisfying. This game also experimented with a versus mode called Mario vs. Luigi. In this mode, Mario and Luigi compete on screen at the same time for a number of big stars. These stars will appear at random in the side-scrolling stages. When Mario or Luigi are hit by enemies, hit each other, stomp on each other, or are defeated, they lose a star, which can then be again collected by any of the brothers. When a brother has a certain amount of victories, he wins the match. You would need two DS's to play this mode, which made it a little bit clunky, but this game was everywhere, so that was no issue. New Super Mario Bros. was a commercial success and received positive reviews. Praise was given for the improvements to the Mario formula and its faithfulness to older Mario games, while criticism was directed at the game's low difficulty level, and many critics commented how similar it was to previous games. It became the best-selling Nintendo DS game, and after selling over 30 million copies worldwide, is currently at 17th place on the list of best-selling games of all time. I wonder what 18th is. E3 2009 After a really cool image slideshow thing, this lady came on and would reveal the company's latest game. This is how the audience reacted. New Super Mario Brothers for Wii. This is how any sane person reacted. 
This was an awful presentation. This guy looks like he's being held at gunpoint. Uh-oh. I think we've already seen one player lose a life, and that's two. You're seeing a couple of new features here. The first do, do you hear the fear in his voice? Is Mario behind him holding him at gunpoint? You better not mess this up, Bill. We're going to have some issues. <laughs> I can't look at this anymore. Reggie, come fix this. Bowser, that long-time bad guy, really does suck. Even in a sea of awkwardness, Reggie is still the best part. This mediocre presentation is probably what caused New Super Mario Bros. Wii to seem like just the same game on the Wii. New Super Mario Brothers for Wii. See, that makes it sound like it's just the DS game for the Wii. But as you've already seen, the game sold countless amount of copies. Most of them are in my room. So how about we just get into the game? Mario Brothers, Wee I love the little jingle that happens here, it's very cute. The game starts off with this wonderful title screen. The jingle starts up, the characters run on screen, the logo bounces into frame, and the nostalgia washes over you. It's such an iconic intro, it makes me feel giddy inside. We set up the game, select a new file, and get playing. Princess Peach birthday is being celebrated by Mario, Luigi, and the birthday girl herself. Also, these two toads are there for some reason. Then a giant cake is moved in and out pops the Koopalings and Bowser Jr. They throw the cake on top of the princess, which somehow doesn't kill her, and the cake is brought onto the airship. Our heroes, Mario and Luigi, as well as these two random toads, all pursue the airship in an attempt to save her. These two unimportant toads, who are unimportant because they are red, stuff Peach's presence into the cannon and fire them out in the world which begs the question of why they got her a lot of propeller hats and penguin suits in the first place. In the first new soup, did they get her mega and mini mushrooms as a present? In Mario 3, did they get her tanuki leaves and frog costumes for her birthday? Anyway, now Peach is captured and you and maybe three other people will have to rescue her. Speaking of people, this game introduced something big to the Mario formula. Four players on screen at the same time. The gameplay is mostly based on its DS predecessor. In the levels, the camera pans as players move and it zooms in and out depending on their distance to one another. However, there's a limit and players who are far behind lose a life. Some people have criticized the game for this and they say levels are too openly spaced, especially when playing in single player. Okay, and? The space allows new players to learn the controls, and even if they're seasoned, it allows them more fun just jumping around. These people are acting like these levels are just empty space, when that's certainly not the case. Maybe the first couple levels, but they're kind of like the tutorial levels. Not to mention, if everything was cramped, the multiplayer would not have worked, and we might not have games like Super Mario 3D World which implement multiplayer so perfectly. This game can be controlled by two methods, holding the Wii Remote sideways or by using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck combination. The Wii Remote works surprisingly well for this game. The D-pad translates well to the classic Mario feel, and it feels very traditional. If a player tilts the Wii Remote, certain actions can be performed, such as changing the direction of a light or tilting special platforms when they've been activated. Shaking the Wii Remote activates the spin jump, as seen in Super Mario World. Players can carry objects such as frozen enemies and barrels by holding one and shaking the Wii Remote near the object. Some people like the Nunchuck combo. I'm not one of those people. When a player loses a life in multiplayer, they reappear inside a bubble. The player inside the bubble can shake the Wii Remote to bring themselves closer to the other players that can then pop their bubble. It is also possible to ride on Yoshi as well. Did you get that? In addition to the usual ability to consume most enemies, Yoshi can hold many different objects in his mouth, including hammers, fireballs, ice balls, shells, power-ups, and other players. Yoshi can also use his flutter jump, a move first introduced in Yoshi's Island. Similar to in Super Mario World, Yoshi can eat 5 apples in a course to produce an egg with a power-up or 1-up. Yoshi can't be harmed by star objects and enemies such as spinies and piranha plants, as long as he lands on them. Yoshis brought to the end of the course must be abandoned, however, and therefore, there are only certain levels in which players can ride Yoshis. I'll miss you, buddy. The game has nine worlds, with a world map similar to the one in New Soup DS. World 1 is the grassy plains, World 2 is the desert land, World 3 is the snowy field, World 4 is the tropical island, World 5 is the toxic jungle, World 6 is the rocky mountains, World 7 is the cloudy skies, and World 8 is the lava world with Bowser's castle. Once you finish the game, you can unlock a ninth world that takes place in a space on a rainbow star, where you can play a bunch of mismatched levels. I remember when I was young, me and my dad would play this game every night, and one morning before school, I called him at work to tell him I had gotten a world 3. Still remains one of my greatest memories with him. Similar to New Soup DS, there are towers, castles, warp cannons, etc. Enemies also patrol the map screen. If the enemies come in contact with players, they must play an enemy course. Players must collect 8 toad balloons to make a chest with a toad trapped in it appear. If the toad is saved, 3 super mushrooms are rewarded. 
Toad House has returned once again, but they now feature a couple of minigames, my favorite being power-up panels. It takes place in a room with a 6x3 grid of flip panels decorated with question marks. The backside of each either has an image of a power-up, a Bowser icon, or a Bowser Jr. icon. Players must take turns climbing around the fence and punching the panels, causing them to flip and reveal their backsides. If two Bowser images or two Bowser Jr. images are matched, the game ends. If all item panels are revealed, the game ends and the characters rejoice. At the end of the game, players receive one item for every pair of identical panels with revealed faces. The items you obtain in the minigames are then stored in your inventory that can be accessed on the world map screen. Unlike in New Soup DS and Mario World, there's no spare item box, so players can't activate items during levels. Oh, and there's also another Toad House minigame where you just shoot out of a cannon and get one-ups. It's kinda lame. And then there's this star where you just walk in and get a star, no minigame. Even lamer. There are 77 courses in the main game, 14 of which have secret exits, bringing the total number of exits to 91. You progress from left to right completing levels until you reach the tower halfway through the world, and this is another reason why Nassim Wii is awesome. Not the towers, we've seen them before, it's what's inside. This was the reintroduction of the Koopalings. Even though they're seen as filler characters now, go back to when this game was new, this was a big deal. This will be their first 3D appearance, and they did a great job. What's up, y'all? I'm your host, Nordox Sputnik Martin Brown Wozniak. My friends call me Marty. You've got numerous complaints of an old couple running around Kirkville. The police have not intervened, however, do be alarmed. The older woman has a chainsaw and they've supposedly been looking for some short children and a big banana. This is an artist's rendition of what the two elders look like. Oh god. I guess those guys are still mad after me and the guys took more than one from their please take one bowl. They can be seriously dangerous. I must keep my eye out. After your long journey through all the wonderful levels, and 5-4, I hate you 5-4, you'll eventually reach Bowser. Well that was anticlimactic. Huh? No friggin' way. No friggin' way! No friggin' way! This was low-key the twist I needed. The final battle is incredible. The booming music is so impactful. This is such an overlooked song when talking about Mario Final Boss themes. The platform's constantly in your path. The lava rising up and down, and of course, Bowser. Breathing fire, breaking your only floor. If you get too far ahead, he just comes out of nowhere, demolishing everything. I cannot stress how fun this boss battle is, especially with friends. I have great memories of me and my friends playing the story mode, reaching Bowser, and then all hell breaking loose. We'd be throwing each other into lava pits, stealing propeller suits, and sabotaging them by hitting the switch so they fall into the pit. Anyway, once you finally make it to the end, there's a giant button with Peach just above in the cage. In a final act of bravery, you hit the button, causing Bowser's castle to start collapsing on him. Peach offers Mario a kiss, and they hightail their way out of there. As they venture out, they see Luigi, Blue Toad, and Yellow Toad arriving in their hot air balloons. Luigi lets Mario and Peach into his balloon, and then they completely disrespect him and leave without him! Luigi was kind enough to lend you and your girlfriend his balloon, and you left without him! Thankfully, Yellow Toad and Blue Toad offer Luigi a ride in their balloon. You only need to get yourself a friend like Blue Toad. And after the bop known as the credits theme plays, and the boys have a dance party, that's the end of the greatest game to have ever been created. Hey Tyson, Merry Christmas Eve. Dags? From the Dags YouTube channel? Yeah. What are you doing here? I was at my aunt's house on William Street, and I thought I'd stop by my favorite Kirkville residence. Oh, that's so sweet of you. So, what are the zany scenarios happening currently? Well, I was just talking about why New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best Mario game of all time! Huh, what are the odds? This is the perfect time to tell you this convenient piece of New Super Mario Bros. Wii trivia I learned while thinking about New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Oh really? Do tell! Alright. So, our story begins a week before the new Super Mario Bros. Wii release date. An Australian man was able to pirate the game early to post its files online. Now, I can't even begin to explain the logistics on how something like this could even happen, especially today. A whole game leaking one week before its official launch is a very rare scenario that can only happen once in a blue moon. 
Although this Australian man graced us with New Super Mario Bros. Wii a whole week before its Australian release date, Nintendo wasn't all too happy he did. This led Nintendo of Australia to put out one of the most insane lawsuits in gaming history up to this point. The first action they did was send him a court order, one that allowed Nintendo to search the man's premises. Yes, a warrant was put in place that allowed a company to legally search a man's home because of Mario. After determining this man had broken copyright law, Nintendo hit him with a $1.5 million compensation for his crime. An extremely overkill asking price, but that is exactly what Nintendo intended it to be. Moral of the story, don't mess with Nintendo, or any company's intellectual IPs for your own personal distribution. But I mean, at the same time, I can understand it. I mean, who wouldn't want to play the best Mario game a week before it comes out? Speaking of which, I think New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best Super Mario game because I Dad's left without me. I was yanking the chain though. Oh wait Tyson. Mr. Springs from the Mr. Springs YouTube channel? Probably. You are being slow. I don't have bones. I'm like a plushy I think. Now what are you doing here? I'm visiting my aunt's home on William Street. His aunt is my turtle. By technicality, we're step cousins, so we carpooled. But wait, but that would that wouldn't make you step cousins. It, it doesn't would, matter. Would, uh, anyway, I hear you're talking about New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Yeah, why do you ask? Cause New Super Mario Brothers DS is way better, plain and simple. Wait, no! I'm an endangered species. YouTuber turtles aren't endangered. Okay, then name more than one. Uh... At least let me explain first. Fine. My main issue with New Super Mario Bros. Wii is probably its extremely open, wide, and honestly pretty empty level design. Which works wonders for multiplayer, but it just kind of falls flat in single player for me. And the overall game just feels pretty empty, which is something that even New Super Mario Bros. U did better at balancing. But anyway, New Super Mario Bros. DS is a much better game in my opinion, because all the levels feel more compact and fun, the game overall just looks more colorful and charming, the boss battles are more creative, and the game introduced a lot more to the Mario series than anybody cares to give it credit for. Also, those bonus minigames go hard! <laughs> so the reason why New Super Mario Bros. Wii is not the best game of all time is... Natter John from the Natter John YouTube channel who also made the Mario and Five Nights at Freddy's Iceberg on Reddit? That was oddly specific, but yes, hello, it is I. Now what are you doing here? Don't you live in Ireland? Well yes, but I'm visiting my aunt's house on William Street. He's not with us. What a hootenanny, am I right? Anyways, I was just coming to let you know that uh, there are these two old people with weapons I ran into, and they told me they were looking for some small blonde kid and the... Uh, you fit that description. Oh yeah, I've seen a news report about that. From Marty? Yes! I love Marty, he's my favorite newscaster when there's no other newscasters around. Hey everyone! Nice house you got here, Tyson. Posture from the Posture YouTube channel? What's up, little man? What are you doing here? Let me guess, visiting your aunt's house on William Street? Huh? No, I came to bring the fruitcake. Oh. Man, I love fruitcake. I actually just did a gift exchange with Lankman. He got me internal stress and fear, and I got him a keychain. So I'm sure you heard us talking about why New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best Mario game of all time. What would you like to add? Oh, I actually didn't know that. Do you even have ears? I actually think Bendy and the Ink Machine is better than Super Mario Bros. Wii. Where are you going? My therapist said when there's a situation where I want to commit arson, to just leave. He seems a little quirky and silly. That old couple is probably freaking him out. Why? They don't know him. Ah, but see, they do. Something happened where Tyson and his friends stole candy from them at Halloween and they chased him with a chainsaw. How do you know this? He told me after he was counting the candy. Oh, okay. I have an idea. Follow me. New Super Mario Bros. Wii also has a couple of side modes. First off is Free For All. Free For All is a multiplayer only mode, which feels, um, 
kind of pointless. Every course from the main game is selectable in this mode, although the worlds have to be beaten once in the main game in order to play them. This mode is very similar to the main game, but there is no midway points, and on the end of the level, the number of points each character got is seen. However, unlike in coin battle, the character does not have a happy phrase after winning, and the number of times each player won is also not seen. So basically, you don't know if you've won or lost. Like I said, there's no real point. We also have coin battle, where four players compete in courses for the most amount of coins. That's really it, and not because it's bad or anything. It's a fun time and really showcases the game four player mode. It's just that's all it is, a coin battle mode. But I bet you're thinking, Tyson, you still haven't told us why New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best Mario game. Well, aside from all the previous stuff I mentioned, the reason why New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best Mario game is- The old couple that we mentioned earlier have reportedly started running around the Greater Kirkville area, so if you live on any of the following streets, be warned. William, Oak, and David. Oh no! That's my street! They're coming for me. I have to protect myself and my house. Cue the montage music. Now I'm safe. My traps have been laid out and I'm prepared for those elderly criminals. I think that's it. What was I talking about before this? Oh yeah! The reason that New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best... I'm sorry. The reason that New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best Mario game of all time is... I'm sorry. I was up late. This is in Wii gaming session. I think you guys understand. I can afford to take a little bit of a nap. I've done some good work. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. <sighs> Many hours later. Man, I'm so excited for Tyson's Christmas Eve get together. Yeah, I'm super excited. Did you hear about the new FNAF game? I'm so hyped for it. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to see Purple Guy again. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, we've already seen him three times. The spring trap, scrap trap. No, and... no, 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 no. The door is unlocked. Oh. Yeah, that is a little weird. Ah! Oh, what the heck? Why is the door so hot? Let me try. Ah! That is hot. Ah, hold on. Tyson? Hello? Maybe he's upstairs. Oh, good thinking. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it didn't even hit you. Come on, get up. Oh. Why was that there? I think Tyson's trying to home alone us. Why would he do that? Well... Why the heck were you in there? I got here earlier, but this random claw pulled me into this closet. We're just trying to find Tyson. Oh, he's probably upstairs. No, 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 no! no, no, no. Let's just find Tyson. Alright, he's clearly not upstairs. Alright, let's go find him. I'll take over here. Alright, we'll go over here. Oh! Hey guys! Merry Christmas Eve! What are y'all doing here? You invited us over, remember? Oh yeah! I actually had some traps placed. There was one over there and... 
Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. What are these traps even for? Oh, you remember Halloween? Costumes, dry bones, musical number. Yep. Yeah. Well, remember that old couple? We took more than one from their bowl. Then the man came out and got mad at us. And then the lady came out with a chainsaw and tried to kill Jacob. Yep. Well, I seen this news report and they're actually on the loose in Kirkville. They've been roaming around the streets near our house. So I wanted to make some traps to defend myself. And I forgot you guys were coming over. It's okay. Just please tell me next time. My face is throbbing. Y'all wanna play some new Super Mario Bros. Wii? Oh, that reminds me. The reason that new Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best Mario game is- Dude, will you get off that thing? Huh? What are we doing? What's so important? Well, after Halloween, I was at the grocery store picking up some fruit, right? And then guess who I seen? My interest in the story. No, it was Olivia. Ooh, how'd it go? It was good. We caught up with each other. I told her about what happened and she apologized. She said she must have given me the wrong number. Okay, so you've been texting Olivia. Yeah, she said she wants to meet you guys. Is that okay? Uh, sure. Yeah. Proud of me. I think you'll like her. We're a perfect fit. She's just like me. Hi, JC. Hi. So you must be Jake's friends. I'm Olivia. Hi. You give me main character vibes. You would be a really good basketball player. <clears throat> First name, Angela. Last name, Single. Your last name is Gear. Shut up. I don't suppose you'd like to get some infinity. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll let Jacob have this one. <gasps> Who the heck are you? I'm Olivia's mom. Jacob, you mean your parents too? Nice sound like it. Good job. <laughs> uh, hi, Miss Olive. Miss Olive, I'm Jacob, and uh, I've recently started dating your daughter. Dating? Oh, God. Olivia, you know you're not allowed to date yet. Mom, I'm 24. Okay, this is illegal. <laughs> We're going to talk about this when we get home. We just found you. And now that we finally found you, we like to apologize. We were just trying to play an Halloween joke and we took it too far. Ever since you left, we were looking for you to apologize. And we brought the chainsaw as a defense mechanism. A defense mechanism for what? Don't question me, boy. It's Mailman Murphy. What's up, dogs? I don't even care. Just leave the door open. <laughs> just working on my throwing arm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess since you guys are all here, you want to spend Christmas Eve with us? Okay. okay. We bought presents. When is your time to get those? If you don't... Hey, okay, hey, hey, let's just go eat, all right? Yeah, no, it's really nice. So how do you know Tyson? His small friend is dating my daughter. <laughs> my grandson TJ just had a baby. His name is Rory. He's so cute. Mm -hmm. I love him and I never even met him. Mm -hmm. But he's a real rose baby. Lots and all. You know we've gone this whole night without some kind of musical number. Oh yeah, you're right. Oh, Angel. How dare you doubt me. Oh no, not more dancing. I haven't recovered since the last two times. Ah, but see, I'm singing this time. You sang last time. Zip it, Tall Fry. What? Shh. Tyson's gonna sing a song. On the first day of Christmas, my true love sent to me a copy of New Suit Me. On the second day of Christmas, my true love sent to me two paint cans and a copy of New Suit We. On the third day of Christmas, my true love sent to me three short people. Two Cans and a copy of New Soup We. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me four multiplayers, three short people, two paint cans, and a copy of New Soup We. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me five packages. 
four multiplayers, three short people, two main cats, and a copy of New Soup Week. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me six o'clock premieres, five packages thrown, four multiplayers, three short people, two main cats, and a copy of New Soup Week. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Seven angry comments, six o'clock premieres, five packages thrown. Four multiplayers, three short people, two main fans, and a copy of new... My true love said... Eight haunting nightmares, seven angry comments, six o'clock premieres, five packages thrown, four multiplayers, three short people, two paint cats, and a copy of New Soup Week. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Nine dry boats dancing, eight haunting nightmares, seven angry comments, six o'clock premieres, five packages thrown, four multiplayers, three short people, two pink cats, and the copy of New Soup Week. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love said to me, Ten misuse renders, nine dry bones dancing, eight haunting nightmares, seven angry comments, six o'clock premieres, five packages thrown, four multiplayers, three short people, two paint cans, and a copy of New Soup Week. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love sent to me, Eleven game systems, ten misuse renders, nine dry bones dancing, eight. I mean, oh shoot, I'm forgetting the words. I, um, oh my god, there's so much. Why did they make 12 days of Christmas? Why not 24? Um, uh, four multiplayers, three short people, two paint cans, and a copy of New Soup Week. On the 12th day of Christmas, my true love sent to me. 12 Yoshi X, 11 game systems, 10 misuse renders, 9 dry bone dancing, 8 haunting nightmares, 7 angry comments, 6 o'clock premieres, 5 packages thrown, 4 multiplayers, 3 short people, 2 minutes, and a copy of new suit. What just happened? I think we're in heaven, dear. Tyson, this is Mario U. Oh, I know. It's low in carb and game design. Oh, and that reminds me. The reason why New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best Mario game of all time is... Well, not that yet. Let's just recap a little. New Super Mario Bros. Wii has a great story mode. It has fun levels, decent for the time graphics, earworm songs, and fun boss fights. Sure, it might be a little easy and some might say bland, but in the end, that doesn't really matter. See, the most fun you get out of this game is with friends. People who will sit down and beat a game with you. It shows how much they truly care about you. No matter how bland this game may be, playing it with friends is a blast, and it could leave some truly everlasting memories on you, and you'll look back fondly on all the wonderful times you've had with this game, like I'm doing right now. I was eventually going to say that New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best Mario game because it is and leave it there, but seeing all of you here, joining as one, made me realize that the reason New Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best Mario game is that it helped us build everlasting bonds and experiences we will never forget. So thank you, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, for the lives you've touched, for the memories you've created, and for the fun you've brought to millions. I don't even know you. Don't ruin the moment!
We wanted to get you something. It's to show our appreciation for you being such a good friend. We hope you like it, man. It's your 100th copy. I love it. Thanks, guys. And as always, I've been your host, Lil T. And have a very Merry Christmas. I still don't know who he's talking to. <laughs> Me either, bro. child i'm older than you well you didn't go to college to get a degree in chemical engineering well i didn't my mailman did we got you a christmas gift oh guys that's so sweet of you we hope you like it where is it oh my god a new couch firm seats poofy cushions it doesn't sink when I try and sit down! I love it! Thanks, guys! Yeah, no Don't problem. Don't bother, man. Yeah, it was my idea. What? No, it wasn't. That's not true at In all. your dream of springs. I would hug you guys, but you're all different shapes and sizes and posture. You look like you could hurt me, so I'm just gonna end it with, uh... Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Tyson. Tyson.